Hi guys, it's Triple C. Welcome to another episode of video. Today we're looking at the Android app for your Android phone. And uh, it's Google Translate. Yeah. Uh, doesn't sound very special there, but you know, when I, when I first came to Canada, I didn't know much English at all. In fact, I didn't know any English at all. So what I have is an electronic translator. And I thought that was an amazing thing. You know, a machine, it's like a mini computer. There is no such thing back then. Even having a laptop was a big deal at the time. That was uh, 97, 98. Yeah, it was 98. I came here in 98. Anyway, electronic translator. And that was a very expensive thing. And I thought that was amazing. Well, electronic translator, typically what you do is you basically just type in what you want to no, and it will do a translation. For example, if I type in Chinese here, and uh, you will translate the meaning. So obviously, Google Translate had that function. Nothing special there, and of course, nothing special there when it comes to uh, a touch screen. Even back then, when there's uh, when there's uh, tablet computers, now uh, that's not what I wrote, but probably just because I don't write it very good there I type the second word again that's the word me and you will do the translation so let me just get rid of that actually not that easy to operate when I'm looking at the camera here but anyway you get the point though you can write it write out the words that you want to know and it will translate for you so that's very good and convenient too. But again, nothing special there. It's something that's been done for decades. But what's kind of special with Google Translate now is that uh, they have this additional function, what's called a um, word lens. What it is is you use your uh, phone camera and uh, you sort of do a scan on words or whatever it may be doesn't matter what language and you can ask it to translate into whatever other language so for example I got here my uh, video game this is a Japanese version baseball game I talked about this uh, some episodes ago now I may know what the game is about and I may be able to play it fine but obviously I can't read those language so this thing coming handy so what you do you just come out to it and then you press on the scan and then you will do a scan on the text and obviously the uh, camera phone these days are very powerful when it comes to quality of the camera so you know it, it can it's basically like doing uh, one of those uh, text recognition like on your scanner and then you just select the areas of the text you want to know what the meaning are and it will display right there and tell you what it means I mean, this is amazing. Now I may be able to play some of those uh, Japanese RPGs, maybe, and understand the story. But obviously it's not perfect. Some of those grammars you might not be able to understand, but you can always uh, mix it out and try to understand as much as you can. Well, it's way better than not. And of course, this stuff is always updating. Maybe even tomorrow we have a much better version than this today. You just never know, but this is pretty amazing. That's pretty good. It's very convenient. You press it and it does it right away. It, it, as you can see, just scan right and then you scan left and it's done. It's even faster than scanner. So we are already that advanced doing things quick, but that's nothing. What well, is more? Not yet for Japanese or for Chinese. At least those are the languages I know. Um, I haven't tried other languages. I don't have a lot of stuff with a lot of text on it. Unless we go onto the computer, so whatever, but just for demonstration sake, that look at here. I got some oatmeal, maple, and brown sugar. It's my favorite. Anyway, here in Canada, um, all the products are required to have English and French covers. So let's do that again, but this time we will set it to translate French. And look at what happens when I just pointed at what I want to translate. 
run on my right on my Google screen. But I run on my phone screen. It translates right away. I don't even need to press the scan. It just does it right on the spot. I don't know how well, but maple and maple and what? Let's see if I can get it right. Brown sugar. There you go. Depending on how they, it's closest. Um, it's closest. Um, real time, you know. This is very good. Let's see up here. S some text there. And at the right angle, you can translate right away and just covers. You know, if we can do this, not just for French or some of the obvious language. If you do it for all the language, obviously the app is going to update sooner or later. And I'm pretty sure they will be continuing to research about applications like this. And just imagine what you can do with all the languages. This is so this is science fiction, the stuff that you think about back then. You think, hey, maybe in the future we have uh, flying cars. This is that kind of idea. Maybe in the future we can have a device that just translates everything. So let's try some more. Here we have. A bottles of olive oil, extra virgin from Spain. And I already set it to Spanish, translate to English. Oh. And check it out, it translates right away. Some of those are probably brand, olive, virgin, extra. Now you get the idea of what it is. Well, even if you want to, don't want to do it this way because it might get a little confusing since it's real time, scan it. Okay. Oh, I press the wrong thing. And then you scan it. You can ask it to obviously do a proper translation. It's telling me a lot more where they come from and things like that. So that's an amazing app. Anybody with a Google phone, well, Android phone, should really get this app. It's totally worth it. Google Translate. Anyway, I thought I just want to share my thoughts about this application um, I totally recommend it for you to uh, download it it is free to get and then uh, just try it out uh, it might even come in handy when you needed it okay so uh, that's it for now thanks for watching I will see you next time